What once felt like an unbreakable monopoly over comic book distribution in North America is basically all but over. In just three short years, Diamond Comics distributors have gone from being the only game in town to being a complete afterthought. This week, they lost their final really big customer. Image Comics has decided to walk away from Diamond Comics distributors, which is an enormous about face for Eric Stevenson and Image Comics, who once said some very, very nasty things about DC Comics and their decision to leave Diamond Comics after Diamond decided just proactively all by themselves never consulting any of the publishers that they were going to stop distributing comic books nationwide at the beginning of the pandemic with all the shutdowns were happening even though not every state was shut down every state had different rules and dc and marvel obviously were still wanting to distribute comic books to their customers dc said uh no sir we're going to find some competition in fact we'll just create it out of whole cloth and not surprisingly only a few short years later diamond comics are absolutely reeling where do they go from here? I have absolutely no idea. But there's basically no getting up from what just happened to Diamond Comics this week. Diamond Comics Distributors has lost another comic book publisher from its ranks as Image Comics is moving its comic book distribution to Lunar Distribution with a new exclusive distribution agreement that will kick in with comic books released into comic book shops in September. Image was the largest comic book publisher that still had an exclusive agreement with Diamond, with a number of other major publishers having previously left the company for either Lunar, that would be DC Comics, or Penguin Random House, Marvel Comics, IDW, and Dark Horse. Diamond still has exclusive deals with Boom, Dynamite, Ablaze, Titan, Aftershock Comics, and Frank Miller Presents. And you can take this to the bank. As soon as Boom, Dynamite, Titan, Frank Miller presents all those other comic book publishers that still have exclusive agreements with Diamond. Once those agreements are up and they can renegotiate those contracts, they will also go to either Lunar or Penguin Random House. And it certainly didn't have to be this way. Diamond Comics, led by Steve Jeppy, didn't have to sit on their mountaintop, rest on their laurels and say, you know what? There's no competition when it comes to comic book distribution. We're the only game in town, so we're never going to make anything better. We're going to distribute comic books exactly how we want to do it, the cheapest way possible. We will destroy your comic books. We will destroy your exclusive covers. We'll throw statues on top of your stuff. We will blow the boxes up if we decide that's in our best interest because there was nothing that the retailers or the publishers could do about it. Once the pandemic shutdown happened in DC Comics, under Jim Lee, and I certainly have to give the man some credit for that, said, uh, absolutely not. We're not playing that game. Lunar came on board, and it was a whole new ball game. Sure, not everything was smooth sailing right from the beginning, but Lunar has become, in very short order, the gold standard for comic book distribution in North America. It's not even close. When Penguin Random House came on board to distribute Marvel Comics, they quickly passed up Diamond Comics distributors in the minds of most comic book retailers just because of their customer service and the fact that they didn't destroy all the comic books that they delivered, kind of like Diamond did. There was another incident this week where all the image and Marvel comics, I think on, on the Eastern Coast, never got delivered because Diamond's like, truck got sideswiped or something crazy like this. There's always just weird stuff happening with that company. And it's not just the fact that they damaged the product. It's not the fact that they charged people just to get the product into their store on time. Yes, there was an extra fee just to get your comic books one day before they were supposed to be released into your store. It's the fact that everything else about that company absolutely sucked. Whether it be their online platforms and tools to help out retailers and customers to know it was actually coming out. The ordering process itself. The fact that when there was returnability on a cover, you actually had to deal with Diamond Comics. And you just never knew you were going to get it. You were going to get it. But shit, it might take three or four months. You would have tons of money tied up in comic books that you were never going to sell because you would actually already destroy them and were waiting for Diamond to actually give you your reimbursement. It was absolutely insane how they thought that they could be, I don't know, competitive in this market. Now that there are finally two competitors to them, I don't know. They never upped their game. They never even attempted to get in the game. That's the worst part about it. And I don't blame Image. I don't blame DC. I don't blame Marvel. I don't blame anybody for dropping Diamond Comics when they had the chance. At this point, we know who Steve Jeppy and Diamond Comics are. Eric Larson helped to explain the move to Looter by noting, we have enjoyed our relationship with Diamond over the decades, and we have made some wonderful friends there. 
So this decision has been a difficult one. It was not a move that we made lightly, though. And ultimately, the change was made because of the benefits to readers and retailers who are our real customers. There are services Lunar will provide that will make it easier for stores to buy our titles and for fans to find our books. This is a big win for them, and we hope this new partnership is as strong and long-lasting as the previous one. We wish Diamond nothing but the best as we look toward the future. This was to the benefit of our readers and retailers who are our actual customers. It turns out if you make things difficult, if you constantly destroy product, if you can't actually deliver comic books in time, even a company that wanted to be as loyal as Image Comics wanted to be, and it's clear that they did, they did not want to walk from Diamond Comics. Diamond Comics basically forced them to because it was not in the best interest of their real customers to actually stick with them as their exclusive comic book distribution company. Lunar is absolutely the gold standard right now, and I definitely applaud Eric Stevenson and Image Comics for going out there and making the right choice. A lot of people, because Marvel is, is the industry leader, right? Let's go to Penguin Random House. That's where Marvel is. Well, DC, they might not have the sales, and they might not have the reputation of Marvel right now, but they certainly have a better comic book distributor. There basically are zero damages when it comes to Looter, and I hear everything shows up like five or six days early at a bare minimum. Now, that can cause some problems because there are some retailers out there that will sell comic books before their street date, and obviously you can get some spoilers and stuff like that, but it's all to the benefit of the retailer and the readers. It benefits the retailers when the product shows up and they can actually sell it. It certainly benefits the readers when there's product in the comic book shop every Tuesday and Wednesday when they show up to buy their favorite comic books. Now, the number three publisher in North America will be exclusive to Lunar, and Diamond once again takes a back seat. And I do feel bad for Boom and Ablaze and Titan Comics and everyone else that has to still deal with Diamond. I guess the good news is, maybe, that they will get better, like in theory. <laughs> this is all a theory, right? If Diamond was a, was a well-run company, they would get better customer service and more access to the company itself to maybe um, fix some of the problems or address some of their issues. Based on what we've seen from Diamond over the past, uh, I don't know, 20 or 30 years, that's not going to happen. But in theory, that's what should happen for those publishers until that contract comes up and they can finally move over to a real comic book distributor like Lunar or Pagan Random House. Now, this is an enormous about face from Eric Stevenson and Image Comics. When DC originally left Diamond, Image Comics publisher Eric Stevenson responded to the move to cut ties, calling it a hasty, sociopathic decision made by people who do not care about the long-term welfare of our marketplace, let alone about comic books. Well, I would say that Mr. Stevenson owes Jim Lee and DC Comics an apology. I would say Mr. Stevenson owes the entire industry an apology for jumping to some pretty hasty conclusions there when it's clear after about two and a half years, a little bit more than that, that the best thing that ever happened to Cabo Books, like within the last five years, is probably Lunar coming aboard and obviously Penguin Random House entering the game and providing some competition for Diamond so they would have the opportunity to up their game and at least do the bare minimum necessary for retailers and readers to get their products on time in a decent shape. That never happened. Diamond never improved their game, never actually stepped up to the plate. For reasons unknown, they never really saw what Lunar and Penguin Random House were doing as competition. They're like, well, we still got Image. We can still wholesale Marvel comics. and We still got a lot of these smaller publishers. We'll be fine. We don't need DC anyway. Well, everyone's walking away. And now that Image Comics is gone, what reason do a lot of retailers have to keep sticking with Diamond Comics anymore? They're certainly not going to get the same shipping breaks and all that stuff anymore. They're at Lunar. You're probably better to just order through Lunar and paying a random house and then just the rest from Diamond and hope that you get your order on time. Not damaged because that's kind of the reputation of the company at this point. This is what had to happen. And I do applaud DC Comics. And yes, I do criticize a lot of companies out there. But I was on board for this one from day number one. I was congratulating DC, saying they did the right thing. In fact, a lot of people, besides just Eric Stevenson, were very critical of DC's decision, and they ended up eating a whole lot of crow on this one. I've been talking about it for a while. DC Comics were absolutely right, and a lot of people were dead wrong. There's also a link in the video description.